Hello, hello, welcome back to more Let's Play Suikoden. We have headquarters, and now we can board a boat, and we can go around the world. Sort of, some of it. But, we have some recruiting that we're going to be doing today, so if you just take your boat, you can go right back to Kaku. So, let's get talking to people. First guy we're going to be going to get is Sergei. Ah, oh, so he makes an enveloper. You want to recruit? Alright. And then he just heads off to the castle. Now, I don't think... Yeah, I don't know if I can... Ah, I think... Ah, I probably... Sh I think I need to bring Taiho to him. Can't quite remember, so... I can't remember everybody right off the top of my head. So let's see. I don't think there's anybody else in this town. Remember that cat for later. And we can't recruit her yet either. So we're going to be heading back to Sika first. And I don't think I've shown any of the battles out here in the world. So if I run into one, well, I'll show it off because it'll be quite easy enough. So, okay, let's head inside the inn. And then we can talk to her, yeah. Remember Marie? Sure, why not? Alright. Marie will be our innkeeper. Which is, well, pretty nice. We'll have a free place to stay. Now this guy right here, we're going to be coming back to later. Now, he wants a place to cook. And instead of offering him a restaurant, well, we're not really offering him anything right yet. There's a little thing you have to do first before you can recruit him. So let's talk to this lady. O'Neill. April O'Neill? Yeah. We're kind of short of people, definitely. So let's go ahead and recruit her. She's kind of a... Uh, if, you, if you start up a game and forget what to do, go talk to her and she'll usually kind of tell you what to do. So I think that's everybody here for right now. Yeah, let me go check up here. I don't think we can... Yeah, okay. There is somebody here later. I just wanted to make sure they weren't here yet. So, okay. Well, we got an innkeeper, but I think we need a hardware store. So let's head back to the Fortress of Quaba. And remember Chandler here? All right, cool. Come and join us. Chandler now joins us. All right. So now, we're going to do a little bit of exploring, because there are some towns that, well, that we can go visit that, well, the plot hasn't directed us to go there yet. But we're going to go ahead and go there. So if you're here fighting and, let's say that you're actually an appropriate level, Go after the beast commanders first, because they can command all of all of, well all of the beasts in the area to attack at once. So, so here the shredding it unfortunately only attacks one person, which is pretty poopy, <laughs> poopy. <laughs> and so I kind of Luke can have better choices of runes than the wind rune. Unfortunately, it's not that good. In later versions, uh, the second game, the wind rune does. Um, is improved. The shredding will hit everybody. It's pretty powerful. Oh, I got a level. So. Alright, so let's keep going along this forest edge right here. Okay. I went off to the right there, but there's nothing there. I thought that was the way to the next town. But it wasn't. Oops. Yeah, some of these trees, like, knock you into stuff, so. Eh, it's just, it's kind of annoying. Oh, wow, here's a new enemy I haven't fought yet. Some rocks. Um, I think they're pretty vanilla enemies. Oh, wow, they have a lot of defense, though. Ow. Hey, I'm, I'm supposed to, like, destroy you guys. Okay. Hmm. Oh, things are not going better. Wow, good job. One damage. Okay, can we kill him this round? 
Thank you. Hmm. There we go. Alright then. Alright, here we go. Here's the town. The village of, well, the Great Forest. Here, let's check this out. Hey, you look different. Maz, huh? Oops. Alright, cool. We get our first blacksmith in the game. Unfortunately, he can only upgrade to level 5. And somebody already took his place. They have a really efficient system around here. So let's have a look around the rest of this town. Can't remember where... Th there's one other person in this town. I think... Now let me check over here. We'll be coming here later when the plot directs us to. So I'll talk to everybody then. Ah, here we go. An expert on bass, huh? Okay. Sure. Hooray. Alright, well that was fun. That's all we can get here for right now. You can actually, if you go through, well, the northern part of the Great Forest, you can fight some enemies that you really shouldn't be fighting yet. And you could easily get up to the low 20s in your levels. So, if you want to, take advantage of that. Um, I'm not gonna though. Because, well, that's just, I don't really feel like it. And, yeah, I'm just running from these battles, so. I could be fighting to get Namku and Luke some levels, but I'm not too worried about that. So, let's keep going. Now, there's one other person that I'm going to get. And then I'm going to head back to the castle, and I'll do that off screen. Alright, where are you? It's down here? No, it's not down here. It's up here. Ah, I wish I had my map. We'll be getting the map eh, soon enough. Well, sort of soon enough. It's kind of unfortunate that they don't give you a map early on. All right, here we go. This is what we want. The Pass of Garan. Oh, hey, we got somebody here. Kai. Oh. Apparently he's our old master. Oops. Ah. Uh. All right, we get probably one of my favorite guys in the game because of how he works with Tyr. He has a Unite attack, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to the castle off screen and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I am on the first floor of our castle and you notice it's a little bit different now. I will give a more official tour later. I'm not too worried about that right now. But what we want to do to get Antonio is we want to talk to Marie here and we want to keep staying over and over again until she says something about how she needs help. It doesn't take very long, but just keep doing it until she talks about it. Come on. Okay, I'm going to do it a couple more times. If she doesn't do it, and then I'm going to just do it off screen until she does say it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, finally! That took about three or four minutes. I'm very impatient, but this is what you're looking for. You want her to say that she needs, well, somebody to cook for her, so... We know a cook, don't we? So what we can do is we can head back to Antonio, and he will, well, he'll join us. And you see here, now we got an elevator. So you just go in, and right now we don't have very many options, and... Well, there you go. So, I'll meet you back with where Antonio is, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back with Antonio, and I have his face covered, and he better join me now. Yeah, you know, she was about 15 feet away from you. That's true, we do need good cooks. Hooray! Okay, so, what I've done is I've recruited everybody that I can for right now. Um, story segments is what breaks up when you can recruit people. Like that guy Gasper in that basement where Taiho was. We can't recruit him yet. I looked that up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give like a little preview. Well, not preview, I guess. I'm going to give a little tour of the castle, what it looks like at, at each junction of like the story when you recruited everyone. 
So I'm going to head back to the castle and, well, we'll kind of see what our castle looks like. So I'll be right back. Okay, and now I'm back, and as you can tell, uh, I forgot to mention it, we have some new music here. Yay! So, let's kind of give a little walk around. There's Taiho. I already showed him off, so... You come back around here. Not much has changed yet, but you see that they did block this off, and we have something there. I don't know what that is, so... Alright, let's go have a walk around town. Well, I guess you can call this town. So, ground level. Here we got Sarah J. It is, it's pretty nice. Now, it doesn't take you to the basement, though, unfortunately, but it's our basement, our little prison here, and not much going on yet, but soon enough, we'll have more people. So, I do like this castle. It's got a nice little homey feel to it. So now on the first floor, this is actually starting to pick up a little bit. Over here, we have our first blacksmith. And not really yet. So he acts just like a regular blacksmith. You can upgrade. And yeah, I mean, he's a regular one. Unfortunately, like I said, he can only go to level 5. Now, in the later Suikoden games... Now, oh, I'll get there in a sec. I mean, Chandler here. The only items he will ever sell are items that you have seen in a hardware store. Now, I don't know why that... Hmm. Well, I should have the winged boots showing up, but they're not for some reason back from Greg Minister. Oh well, I'm not worried. Anyway, back to the blacksmiths. To get a hot, better blacksmith, you just recruit ones later on in the game. Yeah, I remember Sonya. Eh, probably, I don't really think you look that good. One annoying thing in this game is that you can only repair, not repair, upgrade the weapons for whoever you have in your party. In the later Suikin in games, I don't know if it's in number two, I can't remember. You can upgrade anybody at any time. You just go to your blacksmith, you talk to them, and you can then choose from your whole list. So here we got a nice little guard station, I guess, and well, no real guards yet. Yeah, we're a little understaffed. Hopefully that bird doesn't attack us. Well, if you think about it, they probably don't they don't really know about us yet. I mean they probably think that, well, they are destroyed. I mean, destroyed their hideout, and well, there you go. So let's head up to the second floor, have a look around it. And no nothing much has changed yet, yeah. So, ooh, here we got a bath. Sure, why not? Yeah, let's take a bath. Mmm, wooden barrels. Yeah, this will... <laughs> this will get better as we get higher level, uh, better castles and stuff like that. When you reach a certain amount of people, and here you can place or take antiques that you have um, identified if you want. It serves no purpose. But when you reach a certain amount of people, you can, your castle upgrades automatically. So we'll get there soon enough. So here, you know, now we can talk to Matthew. Well, I'm very new about that. But, can we look at people? Oh, it's full. So here, let's say I wanted to get rid of Yamku. Let's see who else we can add now. So Kai, who I will actually be taking because I love him. Antonio, you know, you can take him as well. He's not very, I mean, not very great. His speed is actually not that bad, though. Just kind of looking at him. You can bring the blacksmith if you want. Not too bad on power, nothing great. Him, he, oh, hey, he's only level one. And then Sarah J. Yeah. So let's bring in Kai. I'll be using him later. Actually, I'll be using him a lot. His Unite attack with uh, Tear. Oh, buddy. And, yeah, little lookout spot. Not much going on. Okay. So then, easy way back down. Use the elevator. And we'll get more floors, too, when our castle upgrades. Alright, well. I think that's a good spot to end for today. Next time, we were going to head off to the town of... Um, what was it? Kuan, that's right. I couldn't remember. Where we will try and recruit LaPont. So, I will see you guys next time, and thanks for viewing.